Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with these two pieces of fabric that I created in a previous video. I'll have the link to that video down below. And I told you in that video that I would turn this into a tote bag and I am still going to do that. And I was going to do that today, but then I thought, I have some ideas for this. And I think we're going to do that first in this video and then the tote bag in the next video. I'm going to do some top stitching with different things, maybe lace, ribbon, and then I thought of like a kind of a thick thread. I'm thinking like plaid, only it won't really look plaid because this is all mixed up. But then I thought thread would probably get lost in this, and so I thought of yarn. I think that would be cool, don't you? Don't you think that? Let me go gather some supplies, and I'll see you at the sewing machine. My mother is watching her Catholic Mass. You might be able to hear that. Just letting you know you could accidentally be blessed during this video. <laughs> Before I screw this up by adding all kinds of shit to it, I want to put it together for the tote bag. I'm going to do um, a long piece. It's funny, I was looking up videos to see if I could get an idea of how to do that, and I saw a video and I was like, oh, I love that bag. And it was my frigging video from a, quite a long time ago. I will link to that down below. I was like, oh my God, I did that? I had no memory of it. I'm going to um, join the bottom, but instead of making a seam, because I want this to be a boxed bottom, I would like to not have a bulky seam there, so I'm going to join it like we did these blocks. I'm going to butt those two pieces up together. So here's one side, here's the other. It's down here that I'm going to join, and you can see one is a little bit, you know, longer than the other and crooked, so I'm just going to go trim that, make that even. This is my newly trimmed edge. I'm having it so that my lines are up and down on the tote. You don't have to be starting with something like this. You can start with whatever you want to start with. Okay, so this is going to be connected to this, like this. And I'm just going to uh, overlap a tiny little bit and zigzag. I still have my clear thread. See, that's nice and flat now, that seam. And then this is the way the tote will be made, like that. And that bottom won't have, you know, a thick seam there. Now, time to add shit to this. And I'm a little bit afraid. I have a few things. Oh, I have to get ribbon and lace. I just have some little scraps of yarn for color. And I thought maybe some of this variegated yarn you know, I got like purple, you know, I can use pretty much anything I want because there's all kinds of colors in here. And then I grabbed this. I don't know if this was gifted to me. I can't remember. It's fuzzy. And I thought maybe a tiny, um, not tiny, but a narrow zigzag on top of that would leave some of all this fuzzy stuff flying around. Yeah, that could look shitty. We also can use um, shreds. And I guess I would do, if I used something narrow like this, I guess I would just use a zigzag and go straight down, you know, the whole thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this. If I used wider strips or scraps or a ribbon or whatever, instead of zigzagging on each edge, it wouldn't need to be zigzagged because it wouldn't fray. And instead of doing a zigzag in the center, I think I'm going to take the time to do a straight stitch on each side of that. So let me go get my uh, ribbon and lace bin. I have various things in here. Scraps, I have ribbon, I have lace. Well, this is lace. I have a lot of things of ribbon. Ooh, black. Pretty cool. I have empty things of ribbon. <laughs> and more lace. Just all kinds of things. I know I have more ribbon in there. Oh, look at this ribbon. It's got, I mean, I wouldn't use that on this, but it's beaded. That's pretty cute for something that I'll never make. All right, let me pick something and we'll just get started. 
I also have this lace, which I love because it's flat. You might uh, remember this from a quilt that I made for my mother. I'll link to that down below. And I had gotten this at Marden's. I see it was only a dollar per spool. This is, um, Marden's is a surplus salvage store and they have a huge fabric section. And I know I bought multiple spools of this and uh, I just love it. So I think we'll start with this. And my plan is to just sew some this way. And then I thought of this way also to kind of give a plaid look. I don't know. It might be too much. I don't know if I want something that wide and it kind of gets lost. Let's not start with the lace. Maybe we won't do the lace. Maybe we won't. Let's start with something more narrow. I have this little heart ribbon. The hearts would be sideways in that direction. Gee, I'm not liking that I'm covering up my scrappy strips that are on there. I guess I have to sacrifice that, don't I? All right, I'm still looking. I'm sad that I'm not loving my options. <laughs> it's just because I haven't done this before, and I don't want to fuck this up. I love brown, but I, I happen to have really no brown in there. I don't know. I don't think I like it in there. I don't know. Red? It's too red. Dark blue? I think we can start with that. And here's what I said before. I think I'm going to take the time to do a straight stitch on each edge of that. Or I could maybe just do a straight stitch down the center. That's very narrow. It's not going to lift up and be weird. I don't really want to take the time to sew up and down both sides of that. So let's do that, okay? And I'm going to do a couple in this direction and then some in the other direction. I'm just unwinding some of this and I'm going to start right here. I don't know if you guys realize how much I absolutely despise, I mean truly hate and despise the lighting and camera setting issues that come along with this gig. That's just drives me crazy. I got interrupted. When I get interrupted, I usually edit what I've done so far. So I stopped to edit and it was so dark, it's so dark. It's deceiving what I see. And I've learned that even if it looks good, you know, with a certain setting for me one time, the next time it might still look good in my little screen, but not on the video. So whatever, I'm sorry. You're more than welcome to unsubscribe if I drive you crazy. Now, back to screwing this up. I was thinking I could even go wonky with my lines. Like if I wanted to make sure I'm sewing between those two things. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm getting a little carried away. But wonky kind of looks like country kind of plaid. I don't know. I'm going to go wonky. Let's go wonky. What did I decide? I think I decided a straight stitch down the center. The reason I don't want to do a zigzag is because, you know, it's like a lot of clear zigzag. So we're just going to do a straight stitch. I'm going to do like a little bit and then look. Be nice if I could find my pedal. I know some of you are dying to give me tips on how to not have a pedal slip around. And I know, I know those tricks and tips and I just, I just don't ever get around to it. Here we go, straight stitch. Ugh, I'm not sure I like that. All right, I'm committed. Why does my pedal suddenly make the sound of a fucking bird? I'm in a mood today, can you tell? I love it! All right, that bird noise has to stop now. I can't fix the bird squeaking. Oh my God, this is all we have. See now, that coloring in the camera that I'm seeing looks horrible because of the uh, lighting. Let's put another piece of this somewhere going up and down. The little bird squeak is dying down. I just put some oil in there. I don't know, probably ruining things. 
Okay, I'm purposely, you know, kind of going wonky. I can live with this. I think it's one of those things that more is better. You know what I mean? Jelly Belly. Now, I don't know if I want to go in this direction next and then... Huh. Let's try some of that fuzzy yarn. Oh, I don't know. This could end up being such a hot mess, but it is fun. See, I don't like to really knit or crochet with this kind of stuff because it tangles so easily. That's pretty good. Okay, for this, since it's fuzzy, I'm going to do a narrow zigzag. I think I'll go to the left of my ribbon that I just slapped on there. Oh my, what am I doing? This is crazy. Uh, zigzag, narrow. I don't know that it adds very much, but it's there. I think fabric is about to be delivered. Now the lighting is absolutely wrong for the close-up. I guess I'll have to keep switching back and forth. Can you see the fuzzy, the fuzzy yarn? I like it. I've decided to just not be concerned at all where those lines land, um, you know, the lines that I'm creating and I don't care if they're wonky. I'm kind of aiming for a little bit of wonky because it's gonna be wonky anyway, so we might as well, you know, just say that that's the way we want it. And I'm going to put another, you know, pink fuzzy to the left of this ribbon. And I'm going to turn this, so I'll be putting it to the right of this ribbon. Now let's do some lines in this direction. How about we do that? I want to go ahead and do my blue and my fuzzy, so let's do that. Of course you can use colorful thread and let that add to the design, and like I said, we can sew lines of different colors of thread. I just thought it would just not really pop for me because I have so much going on. Back to the pink fuzzy. I'm not sure I'm in love with any of this, but I absolutely love the process. I'm having fun doing it, and that's what matters the most. Okay, I need to uh, go flip some burger patties, and I'll be right back. I've been gone for a very long time. I'm going to start doing yarn and some thread. Now, obviously it would be easier if you want a line of yellow thread to just change thread and sew yellow thread. But this is kind of a thick thread and I don't feel like spinning a bobbin for it and all that shit. So we're just gonna lay this down and I'm going to go just next to that pink fuzzy and I'm going to do this way and that way. This is tragic. I am running out of clear thread. What is wrong with me for not buying 20 spools of that at once? This is starting to look plaidish. Now I realized I'm kind of ignoring what's going to be the bottom of this bag, so I'm going to go ahead off camera and I'm just going to put, um, you know, some blue ribbon and the pink fuzzy and a yellow down here somewhere. I uh, put that, where the heck is it? I put the blue ribbon right on that join and then I did the pink and the yellow. I will say that the yellow, I just really like that. It's very satisfying to sew on top of a strand of thread, especially if it's a little bit thick. It's a different look than just sewing a stitch line. Getting to really like this quite a bit. Um, it needs some more, I think, so let me think. I'm going to try a little bit of this variegated yarn, and I'm going to put it on the other side of the ribbon. So far I have the blue ribbon and everything's to the right of it as I'm looking at it right now. I'm going to put it to the left. I 
I'm so glad I don't get to know what you think about this. <laughs> it looks, looks good on the other side, too. I'm liking it. I really love the yarn on there. It's, you know, like thread laying there, only much thicker. It's so cool. I'd like to do some more ribbon. I could do the dark blue again, or I could do the brown. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do the brown now. Yeah, I'm going with the brown, and then I will um, probably put some more thread and all that stuff, and then I'll come back and show you what I've done. I found some blue thread that's kind of about the same thickness as the yellow thread. I don't know, maybe even a little bit thicker. I don't know if you can see both there. Where's the yellow? It's there. But it is looking plaidish. And I'm going to stop here for this video. So for the next video, I don't know if we'll be... Com I got interrupted. I was saying, we're going to, um, you know, just be putting this together. I need a strap or two little handles. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing, but I remembered I had actually thrown my scraps out to go into the trash. <gasps> it's trash night. I have to do that tonight. And then I ran to get it because... I wanted to pick from these same scraps that I was picking from to do whatever I'm going to do with the with the handles or the strap. So I have the scraps and I will be doing plaid to that too. I guess I don't know. You have to come back and see. But I do want this to be a boxed bottom. It might be stiff enough, I'm sure, that it will, you know, be a cute little stand-up tote. And I really like it very much. And again, you don't have to have all this, you know, fabric going on in the background. I just wanted to give you an idea. So I will take a couple of pictures of this, and um, I'll be back with the rest soon. Bye. Bye.